thyroid disease is estimated to affect 200 million people worldwide, with women being around 8 times more likely than men to experience it. My name's Jake Beer. And I'm Akil, and we'll take you on the science behind this disease. The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland in the neck, and it's like a musical conductor, which tells the organs in the body how quickly to work. But how does the conductor know what they're doing? Well, it gets instructed by a part of the brain called the pituitary gland, which releases TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, to the thyroid gland. In response, the thyroid gland releases two hormones called T3 and T4. The body regulates all this automatically in a process called negative feedback, which adjusts TSH so T4 levels stay within a narrow range. What happens when things go wrong and the hormones are outside this range? If the conductor's rate is too fast, you get a disease known as hyperthyroidism. Here, you have more anxious thoughts, an increased heart rate, looser stools, as well as getting hot easily. And if the rate's too slow, you get the opposite, or hypothyroidism, presenting with more depressive thoughts, a decreased heart rate, constipation, and getting cold easily. That's a lot of doom and gloom about thyroid hormone, but are there any potential positives of it? Well, we can make thyroid hormone in a lab. Currently it's used as medication for patients with low natural thyroid function. And recent research shows that just like how thyroid hormone increases the speed of the organs, it has also been shown to increase the healing of brain cells in mice. Therefore in the future, it could potentially be used as Alzheimer's dementia treatment. We hope this video was informative and can help you to both spot the signs of disease and educate others about the wonders of the thyroid gland.